I agree with Andrew Tate when he said Christians are cowards. Yes, I agree with you. But Christ is not, my dear friend. You're forgetting, you're forgetting the core of everything. Don't judge Christianity based on Christians. Judge Christianity based on the author, the owner, Jesus. Let me see what you're going to do, Andrew Tate. Bring me your prophet and I bring you my Jesus. And let you, let's sit and talk. When you're talking about religion, talk about the leaders of the followers. How did your prophet live and how did my Jesus live? I don't need to show you the Bible. Read your Quran. Tells you how Jesus lived. Even though that Jesus in the Quran is not the Jesus of the Bible. Two different people. But even in the Quran, Jesus Christ, Isa is poo, he's glorified. In fact, there are things mentioned in the Quran about Isa, not even the Bible mentions. It says that he spoke while he was in the cradle. The Bible didn't say Jesus spoke while he was in the cradle. It says that he created out of the mud, clay, birds, and he blew into them and the birds became alive and flew away. Who creates out of mud birds and give life to it? Isn't it God? Enormous things spoken about Isa. And he went up alive, living, and he's going to come back to judge the dead and the living. But if the Christians are cowards, because they sold their master. That's why they're cowards. Nothing to do with the master, Jesus. Jesus is always the warrior. If you hold on to him, you trust in him, you believe in him, you receive power from him. But you walk away from him. Of course, you'll be afraid. When Satan comes, you run for your life. Oh, I'm afraid of Satan. They're coming after me. Get a life. Step on Satan in Jesus' mighty name. Step on Satan. Bishop Marmory resonates with Andrew Tate's claim that Christians may seem cowardly when they stray from following Jesus closely. He clarifies that this criticism is not directed at Jesus himself, but at the followers who fail to fully embody his teachings. The bishop underscores the importance of staying committed to Jesus' example of courage and conviction. By doing so, Christians can overcome fear and become bold agents of goodness and transformation in society.